it's really interesting how capsule planning works. So today we're going to do things a little bit differently. The waistline of this dress can't go over my dress form, so I'm just going to show you guys the main features of the dress. First of all, if you love long sleeve dresses, this is the sleeve you want in your life for winter into spring. I fell in love with this dress when I saw the Carolina Herrera Spring 2013 collection. She did so many looks with this style sleeve and I knew I had to make sure I had a couple items with this sleeve throughout the capsule. The neckline of this dress is surplice. I find this to be so flattering, especially on my body type. It also has a few pleats at the waistline and you know how that usually works when they put these pleats in the waistline it's just for you to have more ease for your bust area it's a high waisted dress also the sleeves are raglan style it has a shawl collar i serge the edge of it fold it over and slip stitch the collar to the neckline I usually make a size 14 in Vogue patterns, but this time I chose to go down a side for the bodice area, so the top portion only. I was looking at the reviews and they all look like the dress had a lot of ease in the chest area. I thought it would be more flattering on me if I made it semi-fitted instead of loose and I love how it worked out of course I had to rock a blue base red lip to pop against the navy this is how I do I do retro just subtle little things here and there and I added my gray slouchy suede boots to bring out the cream in the print of the dress as well. Oh, and one last thing. I saw this dress in the OK Magazine last week. The strap on Vogue 8825 is long enough so that you can tie it to the back. So for this dress, you can switch out the sleeve and make the front skirt wider so you can gather the fabric in the middle and you can create this dress. Super easy. So, Happy New Year everyone. This year is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys my new projects and stay tuned.